name's Sue Branchley. I'm married to my high school sweetheart, Craig. We've been married for 37 years. I have four boys okay, I'm set. and five absolutely beautiful grandchildren. I live where there are deer and moose and birds and I can walk out every morning and just see amazing views. Views that energize me, views that are just beautiful. The little valley here is called Mountain Green, Utah. And Mountain Green is a very small town. There's only a couple thousand people here. One of the key pieces of this house is the energy. This, this is a very relaxing energy. It's a very um, accommodating space. I wanted to create space that would accommodate my business, that would accommodate family gatherings, and there are usually more than 60 of us here. I have a gourmet kitchen that is to die for, and that's where I love to spend my time. Cooking's been a passion of hers. If she wasn't doing this business, I think she'd get into being a chef somewhere or writing cookbooks. You know, the kitchen really is the heart of a home. It's a, it's a place where I know that if I make really incredible food, my family's gonna come over. One of the things that we really love to do here is have barbecues, whether it's neighbors, whether it's our family, whether it's my ASEA family, is to have everybody over, just have all of the deck space to be able to be out cooking, entertaining, enjoying um, each other's company, and at the same time having this incredible view and the, the energy of being outside, but yet I'm home and it's so comfortable and so fun. <laughs> when you raise four boys, you have to make cookies every day, right? Because the cookies don't last, and so every day the kids would come home and want cookies. After about two years, I finally came up with what everybody loves as the perfect cookies. Or oh, cookies are world famous. I, I probably eat more uh, of the cookie dough before it's even cooked, and then I eat all the cookies after. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, he seems to get his fair share, I'll tell you that. Yeah, they, they try to keep me away by putting nuts in them. They stay around a little longer because he won't eat the nut ones. Bon appetit. <laughs> the most important job that I feel that I have next to being a wife first, and then after that, a mother is being a grandmother. You know, I think when you're when you're a mom, you're you're busy. There's so many distractions. When you're a grandmother, you're more present. When these little children are in your space, sorry. Um, and they're just the most important things that we could be doing. Hi everybody, we had one more pea left in the pod. <laughs> oh, I can't get it, she's pregnant. <laughs> when we were in the park, my son Brandon decided to surprise us with the news that he and his wife are expecting their fourth child, my sixth grandchild. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is the most exciting thing in my life, is when these new little babies join our family. My dad bought a boat when I was about 10. We'd go to Bear Lake every summer. We used to start skiing with the five boys. We just all competed with each other, and, and that was what kept us together as a family. We got married, and my family came along, and that was what we did, and so that's what they did and then it's taken on a life. First we were members of a water ski club and then it's like, well, why don't we just own that water ski club? All the way to Tyler competing professionally. The G forces, they've actually measured on water skiers somewhere between two to three Gs when they pull through that course. I accelerate up to about 65 miles an hour. When you get to that buoy, you try to slow down and, and you turn and you just hope that the boat picks you up before you fall in the water 
or it picks you up before you fall deep enough that it's going to slingshot you out of your ski. I'm kind of the nervous mom when I watch. It's, it's a dangerous sport, you know, it's part of being a mom of very active, athletic boys. It's always about beating your personal record or your personal best. Just the adrenaline rush of just about, you know that this is the hardest thing you've ever done. You're, you're taking a 3,000 pound boat and doing a tug of war with it. Early on in Enesia, we had a lot of athletes who all of a sudden were having tremendous benefits from the product. And so the company chose to do some athletic testing, a thing called the VO2 max test. And my son's an athlete and they were looking for athletes. So I volunteered him to, to do this. The whole point of the test was to measure when you hit the wall. Uh, when your heart rate gets so high that you go from an aerobic to an anaerobic state and, and you start, I guess, declining in, in performance. He did the first test and his phone call to me was, Mom, do you hate me? That was the worst 10 minutes of my life. I think she kind of felt bad, but not really. And then for a week, um, maybe it was 10 days, he just drank a Sia and then went back and I was kind of surprised that he would even go back and retest. Nobody had to convince me to go back. I really wanted to see what it did. Just that taking of the product for two weeks increased my ability a significant amount athletically. We gotta write these, that's gonna be you. I'll just say it's you for her. After a little bit of time, she, she just said, well, hey, do you, wanna, do you wanna partner with me and let's do this? So I've been working with her for about three years now. Tyler is very committed to anything that we do. He's, he's very committed in business. He's very committed in athletics. So being able to have him participate in that has been, it's been an incredible story that I've been able to share. There's nobody else I'd want to work with more on a, on a regular basis than, than my family and especially my mom. There are so many new people here tonight. One of the things that I get excited about is I want to be a role model for people. I want to be able to identify and help people get that spark, get that belief, get that vision of what life can truly be about, getting that self-sustained passion. You just can't beat her 20 years of experience, the, the knowledge that she has. Um, she's been involved with the health and wellness industry for 20 years. She can talk to doctors and she can talk to just about anybody and, and keep up. She just really, truly cares for people. When you do things that are fulfilling, it drives you. On your deathbed, you're not going to be worrying about your checkbook. You're not going to be worrying about what the house was. You're going to be worrying about who's there with you. Who have you impacted in your life? So. That's what I measure things against. At the end of the day, did what I do impact someone's life for, for the better? And that's my philosophy of life. <laughs>